Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three premier rounds for the amateur lightweight title. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing TSG, Cameron Stewart! And his opponent in the red corner, representing Monte Noir Combat Libre, Alex Alfantari! Lightweight title time then here at Cage Warriors Academy, Cameron Stewart fighting out of TSG in the black shorts and Axel Alfandari fighting out of Montagnor Combat Libra in those bright red shorts. Three three minute rounds to decide who's going to walk away with the lightweight gold here. Alfandari two and two, Cameron Stewart three and one. And once again, both guys looking to impose themselves right off the off the bat here, Nick. Yeah. Alfandari Looking at some spin stuff, we saw him slip already and fall. Be interesting to see if he goes with spinning back fist, spinning back kick. He's, he's very aggressive, Alfandari. He's two and two, but he's never heard the final bell. Every, all of his fights have ended one way or the other. Cameron Stewart, three and one, two subs on his record. Only defeat to David Cook. He beat Billy Fennick in that great fight last time out. And it's Cameron Stewart has Alfandari on the mat to begin with. Alfandari doing a good job of trying to peel that head away, create a bit of space. He's also using his heels, try to get his hips up to be able to wall walk. Stewart's a good grappler, got two wins by choke. So this is the realm that he wants his fight in, most likely. And he's doing a good job of isolating that leg. Now he's looking to tie up wrists. Offendori's using the cage in order to keep himself from getting his back fully taken. And now Stewart's gonna be able to slide that other leg inside, which he's done. Alfandori over, looking for that choke. This is what he likes. Is the arm on that we can't tell? And Stewart's right in front of his coaches. So he's trying to just do that shoulder lock, reaching up and grabbing his own shoulder because Alfandori is really low on it. But he's got that body lock for the control. Looking to get, slide that arm under the chin. Alfandari's doing a good job of the hand fighting. Stewart's doing a good job though of controlling the hips, putting that pressure so Alfandori can't take deep breaths. He's just gonna run out of time here, but that was a pretty impressive dominant first round for Cameron Stewart. Second round about to get underway then here in this title fight between Cameron Stewart and Axel Alfandari. Lightweight title on the line. Oh, great big, head kick. Big head kick from Alfandari. He's an aggressive striker, as I said. Nice leg kick as well. How long would it be before Stewart closes the distance? Good start to the second round from Alfandari. Yeah. Stewart's doing a good job of keeping his head low, his shoulders high, and his hands up. But Alfandori, he's got a nice reach, and he's really using it in this round effectively. There we go. The kick, the front kick, is caught by Cameron Stewart. And this gives him an opportunity to get him back the fight exactly where he wants it. And this is exactly what Alfandori didn't want. He's got that cow catcher. Very underutilized in MMA, but I adore it. It's a wrestling move. Nice work from Alfandori to shrug off that takedown, though. Cameron Stewart now back on the double leg. He's going to take Alfandori for a ride. Is he? 
He's going to look to climb up now. And as soon as Alphandori looks to move away, again, he's going to look to try to take that back. And I could see Stewart almost trying to bait him in, like giving him the opportunity to use that wall walk. Oh, there he goes. Gets that mount. That was effortless from Stewart, straight into mount. And having started the round well, Alfondori now looks to be in a good deal of trouble here. Stewart's doing everything right here from a control perspective. It's in mount. He's looking to try to figure out ways. One of the things that he's trying to do, and if you notice, he continues to pull on Alpha and Dory. That'll force him eventually just to give up his back rather than continue to take punches. I'd say that second that he starts to give up his back, Stewart's going to slide both those hooks in and change it over. Control there from Stewart ends up in mount. Now he's going to look to end this fight with punishment from the top. Big right hands. Alfandori can't take too many of these. There's both hooks, but only 10 seconds left. Not a lot of time for Stewart to work. And those hammer fists. Now looking for the armbar. Arm Great oh. transition. Good bit of grappling from Stewart on top. Here we go then. Third and final round. Can Alfandori find something to take this belt? away, or is Cameron Stewart going to lift it here? Certainly had the better of the first two rounds. Nice leg, head kick there from Stewart. Oh! And that wobbled. Cameron oh, Stewart, oh! That's a big head kick, oh my goodness! Alpha Centauri, I told you, he need to pull out all the stops. Oh my goodness, what a turnaround. Cameron Stewart had won the first two rounds. Axel Alfandari comes out, lands heavy leather. Well, ladies and gentlemen, referee Rich Mitchell calls for the contest at 18 seconds of round three. Call your winner by TKO. And now your Cage Warriors Academy amateur lightweight champion, Alex 